This is a special skill that you need uh, the right people to teach you. The Twin Cities has a nonprofit glass art studio where you can do it all. Now we sent Lee over to Fosai in Minneapolis. Check it out. All right, we're back at Fosai. She just added the glass. That, that, that oven is filled with glass, melted glass. So she's gonna get a little bit more on that. That's called the gathering. She's gathering the glass. And is that glass expensive, Anna? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> but that's why you guys have this place, right? Yeah, so it's one of the reasons why we have a nonprofit glass studio is because we share the cost of that. running a studio. Okay, you gathered. Now what are we doing? We're adding color to the clear glass. So I'm going to add yellow. Wow. Oh, my. For the inside of the flower. And this is kind of what we're, I mean, kind of working on? Yes. Yeah. Isn't that flower beautiful? You can come and buy some of these beautiful products here at FOSA. You guys are open pretty much all the time, right? We are. Six days a week right now, and then in the summer we're open seven days a week. Okay, now that you, oh, now we're going back into that little machine I was in earlier. Yeah. Ooh, that's a hot, what are you doing now? So now I'm melting in the color into the clear glass. So all those little shards of glass now are melting into the core heat. For the parents who are thinking of summer camp, it's a pretty safe, if yes. you know what you're doing, pretty oh, yeah. safe hobby and art. Yeah, for summer camps we have instructors and teaching assistants who are super hands-on with our kiddos. Oh, so, that's so yeah. cool. How long are you gonna end up in that oven there? Wait, oh, she's out already. I'm up. Now what are you doing over here? So now I'm gonna do a little shaping with our tools at the bench. So I'm gonna flatten the head of the flower. Nothing so falls off, it doesn't drip, there's like no waste. No. Right, it stays on and I'm also turning okay. all the time and that helps keeps the glass on center and on the pipe. Okay. Now I'm gonna start pulling. Oh yeah, making in it. Oh, that's how we make flowers. Yeah. <laughs> that. And these are gonna be the Look petals at that. of the flowers. Did the burn marks go away then when you put it back in the, when you work with it, right? Yeah. We watch some of the people over here, you continually work with the product, don't you? Yes, and we continually reheat it until we have the desired shape we want. So you see the petals are starting to firm up now. That is so cool. I'm just gonna catch it with a wooden paddle. I'm gonna twist the stem. Look at she made that, live on Care 11 Saturday. You can buy that later on this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> When's the finished product? How long does it take yeah. for the finished product? So because it's glass, it needs to go into a kiln to cool. Yep. And that takes roughly between 12 and 18 hours. And it doesn't fall and break or nothing, right? Right. Wow, yeah. So that's right now cool. the glass is at about 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. When it goes into the kiln, it'll be at 1,000. Wow. So. Thank you for yeah. having us out here this morning. Welcome. That is really cool. And we'll show you more how you can get involved here on care11.com. Thank you, Anna. Yeah, thank you. Wow, thank you, Lee. We are all mesmerized. I know. By how I'm sitting together. here like this. Like, are you kidding seriously? me? Seriously, I, I know. Two thousand degrees. Two thousand. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Really cool. I, oh my goodness. Well, awesome. we're not.